What's up, trainers? This week, we're going to be going over the Throwback Challenge champion for this 2020 special research. So make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end to find out all the new Pokemon, new Shinies, and all the exciting news happening next. Stay tuned. Let's get it. So for the Throwback Challenge champion, this is going to be a special research coming out to all of us that finished the weekly research for the past four regions. This was a little bit simple, but it had to be something you kept up with and completed each week. I know I had friends who didn't do one because they forgot or, you know, Friday came around and they thought they had it or they couldn't find a metal type. I think we all know that struggle. And not to worry, there's other ways of getting into this event. And if you completed the challenges, you can also do something to get a lot of extra rewards like Stardust and Ken. If you did not finish the quest for each week, you're gonna have to buy a ticket to participate in this event. And the ticket is a little bit on the steep side, it's $7.99, pretty much $8. But you get access to all the new Pokemon and a lot of other features. Is it worth it to say? I personally, I think I wouldn't have gotten it. But if you don't feel like it, you, should, you can definitely wait because Niantic has been known for if you can pay for something, you have to have it before everyone. But in the future, they will release it and it will be out. Like, and anyone is going to be able to get it and the party will be out in the wild and we'll be tired of seeing these guys. But who knows when they're going to do that, especially right now. If you decide to purchase a ticket and complete all the old research, you're going to be able to get more candy and Stardust as a reward. So that's going to be a little incentive for people to buy. And whether you buy it or not, at the very end, you're gonna be able to get Professor Oak's glasses. This is gonna be a cool new item, kind of exclusive, and that's gonna kind of say you're the champion, you got it, you know, it's, I'm sure a lot of people will get it, but a lot of people also won't. So it'll be a cool item to have. So we are gonna be getting new Pokemon. This is exciting news, and these are some really cool Pokemon with one that has a lot of potential to fight with. It's not a lot of people might know about this, but this guy is gonna be a beast future is because of all the attack pools that you can have so the pokemon you can encounter are going to be pokemon from the Nova region such as snivy tepig oshwag flitzel arlino durmata kakira and jensen yes jensen is back i even bought the pass in the back i got excited i got him because i didn't want the best but he was cool and here he is again again antic will do this and you won't get a chance to get all this in the future and 7k eggs are going to include Galarian Meow, Galarian Zizagoon, Galarian Durmaka, and Galarian Stunfish. The Meow and his evolution are going to be the super strong Pokemon that you want to keep an eye on. And he is an all steel type, but his attack pool is huge. The other three Galarian Pokemon, Zizagoon, Durmaka, and Stunfish, also have a lot of potential to be very strong. It's something to look out for. You do want to go for some high IVs. It's something to have, and if you love to battle like I do and rank up, have these get good IVs and just save them, save them in the back, and wait for their turn to come up, wait for their chance to be in the meta, and just go in and destroy people and rank up. If you decide to buy the ticket and already did all the research in the past, you're gonna have access to extra items. So each time you would've earned a reward encounter with the Pokemon, you instead earn 10 candies for that specific Pokemon. That's a little incentive to rank up or uh, evolve the Pokemon, and your a lot of Stardust instead of the Professor's Will's glasses. It's not out yet, they haven't said how much, but if it's something as cool as the Professor's glasses, I think it might be worth it. Do keep in mind that if you buy this ticket, you have to use it between June 3rd and June 8th, and this is in your local time zone, and you will receive the research, and this is not refundable. So once you buy it, you have to keep it. You can't buy the ticket with Poke Coins. And it's something, again, that they're doing just as an extra incentive for players, but it's totally optional. And for this week's Tripology, like I said earlier, if you did not complete the research and don't want to spend $8 on a ticket, this is something that Antic will eventually release. It's just something to do. It's They want to give everybody a chance to get it, but those that pay have an early access to things. So don't stress too much about it. You will get a chance to get these and a lot of potential strong Pokemon coming up. So keep your eyes on that. Save up the Pokemon, save up the startup, save up the candy, and get ready to fight later on. 
and once again to scrap juice thank you for stopping by for this week's video i will be putting out a lot more content in the future as well the updates secrets tips anything else you guys need so i hope you like this channel subscribe to it until next time